So we have this tiny little room out here that has like, um, this is a, a room that Trevor built and um, added onto the house. So this is the outside of the house. And don't judge our uh, craftsmanship slash trying to be handy and stuff. But we want to make this like enclosed like this. So we want this wall to be here and this wall to be over there. So him and I are doing building things. Ooh. So I just wanted to show you guys so you could see the before and after. Right. No, it's okay. It's good. But you guys haven't seen the painting inside the house. I'm not going to show you yet. Got to wait till it's like dark out and stuff. Because it looks really cool when it's dark out. Anyway, okay. Let's get to work. Good thing I caught my goggles. Let's get to work. Stand right there, Trevor. I haven't shown them the house yet. I don't think I want to show them yet. <laughs> not till we tidy up. Yeah, I don't want to show them yet. So I was going to ask you, what are we doing? We... Yeah. Going horse riding. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. And they can't see our house yet. Not yet. All right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Trail ride. Don't we look so cute with our helmets on? <laughs> Safety first, kids. How you doing? I'm here. <laughs> You're here. We're here and we're alive. That's what matters. That's what we call river riding. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, so, funny thing happened. Uh, we spontaneously planned this trip as of yesterday. And we're here with Fiona, oh, who's ducking under a tree right now. <laughs> Fiona, like two years ago, hosted one of our trail rides that we did in like 100 mile, which is like, or past 100 mile, which is, I want to say nine hours away from here. So she's just hanging out on a trail ride. And what are the odds that we're at the same one on the same day? <laughs> I know, it's a small world. Anyway, I just thought that was really cool because I think I vlogged that trip. So I wanted to mention it. I'll do a few clips from it if I did do that. <laughs> hey Cassandra, what's going on? We're going to battle. We're going to battle. Dorime, interimo ad amare Dorime. Hello. Hello. I'm so getting splashed right now. Bring up your feet. It's really deep. Ah. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting hit by branches and then he's eating them. Jerk. Sorry, she. It's probably because I keep calling he and her a he. She doesn't like that. Is he your favorite horse? <laughs> <laughs> Trevor was saying that was like the best horse he's ever had, so well done. Well done. What is it called again here? I don't know either. I'm terrible at this. So I've waited so long and last minute to show you guys the house that I have to do it really quick because we have to leave for the airport because it's 4.55 in the morning. Okay, this is what the house looks like now that it's all painted and a little bit less cluttered. We couldn't finish everything before we left, but we did a lot of stuff, so check it out. I don't know if you guys will notice the difference on camera, but it's like so much more open in here and just brighter and it's amazing and less cluttered which is also amazing so we had to rush and put this room back together because we didn't have time to finish it we didn't have time to finish this but we put all this up and we put all this up it's like a little cabin <sighs> i'll do mtv cribs when we get back i'll probably forget what it looks like because it looks so nice um, I'll explain what we're doing in uh, the airport soon. Okay, lock the doors. You ready to go? I'm warm ready. I showed them like the quickest tour ever. I was like, look, look, look. <laughs> oh, look outside. You feel welcome? Cause you should. Check it. So cute. Why am I seeing you soon? Am I coming to see you guys? It's four in the morning, five in the morning. Don't ask questions. This traveling stuff is starting to get 
Uh, oh, I already can realize that today's gonna be a really hard talking and vlogging day. This traveling thing is getting a lot easier. I feel like it's more like um, going on the bus rather than like this daunting going on a plane thing. I don't know, does that feel like that for you, Trevor? Yeah, yeah, just becoming a little bit more, Easy. Oh, yeah, we're just going doing this, it's still exciting. Yeah, but it's like, oh, it's just, at this time, you're going on a flight like it, I remember it used to be like okay we're gonna do all this stuff although last night packing was pretty much like that because we're kind of gone for possibly two months it's a long time to be away from home seven weeks he's got work and I have no work at the moment so I was like well instead of not spending the summer together like we did last year because I had work and he had work um, why don't we just spend the summer together? So he's gonna go to work and we're gonna have adventures and it'll be fun. Yep, yep. And plus, I hear there's some cool training places in Toronto. I wanna go there. So Trevor posts this like, hey, we're traveling in adventures post on Instagram and mine's like, it's a Monday and I hate Mondays. <laughs> it's just funny. Personalities come first. <laughs> Who's more positive? I am. The line for the plane is almost like we're gonna miss I, it. We're not gonna miss the plane. Okay, fine, go. I'm gonna make him miss the plane. Okay, I'm coming. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm being difficult and not for Air Canada, go one to Prince George. Hey, that's where you're from. Should now be. Shake off. He knocks on the plane. Yeah, every time. You can't see it right now, but they have so many good movies, and Trevor and I are like, oh my gosh, we just want to watch them. Welcome but these keep Air coming Canada. on. Where they're doing the announcements, and we're like, I just want to watch movies. Why is this your favorite one? Oh. Is this the music video one? For safety and comfort, oh. we ask that you pay attention to this short. Please place baggage in the overhead bin and heavier oh, items under the seat in front of you. Veuillez ranger les bagages dans les coffres supérieurs et les bagages plus lourds sous le siège de l'avion. Okay. If you lose your luggage in the Toronto airport, this is where you can find it. <laughs> Need to get a picture of you pushing it. Oh. Pushing it? <laughs> oh, it's on a cart. I feel like that looks like it's from Harry Potter or something. Totally. That's so cool. I agree you're vlogging you with. Okay. I got your stuff. Cassandra, hurry up! <laughs> this is Canada's way of getting their Prime Minister. And for those that don't know, Prime Minister is like the version of America's President. <laughs> what is this? So if they can push it, they become the Prime Minister so of it's Canada. Like, it's like the it's travel like, Excalibur? Exactly. <laughs> Remember how I bragged about getting discounts for looking 15? Well, one of the drawbacks is that I'm actually not old enough to rent a car. So Trevor has to rent a car. <laughs> so I can't until I think I'm 23 or 25. Which I guess is not far away. I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> See how it says, press handle to release brake? If you press, you can go forward and you can go backwards. But did you know that if you go up, you can go backwards? How much easier that is to go backwards instead of pushing down and going back. You just go through. Someone thought about that real well. And they didn't even put it on here. I have a car. Let's go drive it. Yeah. Okay. Nice new wheels there, Trevor. What you doing? My sunglasses to look cool. <laughs> Did you already make them have a home? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> no <What's> way, up? <laughs> man. Let's turn up the tunes. Rock out. This is not the tunes. Yeah. Tunes. <laughs> yep. Here again. Sleepy McSleeps a lot. Doing her job. All right. If you guys see this Kia, come by and say hello to your friendly neighborhood Trevor and Cassandra. We got here like, whoa, subject change. We, uh, 
We got here about, I don't know, four hours ago, Trevor? Yeah, a while ago. Yeah? Um, and we're staying with our friend Irma. She's not here yet, but uh, Daryl let us in. Literally, everyone that you guys know that is in stunts that I hang out with is pretty much here. Except for Mike, because he's in Budapest. And <gasps> Cassandra, roll the clips. Hello. I'm in a place called Hero Square. In Budapest, Hungary. I'm guessing this is where all the heroes are. A big statue up there. With lots of little statues underneath it. Of, I'm guessing some great men. I'll have to find out some history about it. But it's pretty darn cool. All the buildings around here. It's like something you don't get in North America. It's just a lot of old world historical buildings. Just old architecture. So in a way, for me, it's almost like being in old Montreal, but it's all around you. Look at that. Walking in the middle of Budapest for shopping for stunt pads and stuff, and you came across this atrium. So I guess this has happened when the Romans came through here into Budapest area, and, you know, kind of did their Roman thing and built a little mini colse or atrium. And that would be like where all the warriors would come out or gladiators would come out through those little cages over there. That's really cool. That's really awesome that we encounter things like that. And these lovely old cities here. Pretty cool. Cheers. Hello. I'm just checking in. Saying hi to Cassandra and all our friends. Seeing as Cassandra's been somewhat negligent in her vlogging. I'm going to be here for the next three months. And uh, shooting a TV series actually. And uh, be doing a lot of traveling. So I'm going to try and check in as much as I can with you guys. For Cassandra or something. Anyways. Um, yeah, have a good time. Yeah, so Mike's in Budapest. Daryl's here working on the show that Trevor's going to be working on. Irma's working on the show that Trevor's going to be working on. Um, who else is here? Andre. I don't know if you guys know Andre very well. He is the Russian who looks like a nerd but is like absolutely jacked. Um, a whole bunch of other friends that we that we met on Warcraft when we worked on there. Yeah, and other friends that they just don't know as well. <gasps> We're gonna have so many fun adventures, guys. Well, Chris from London, who we did that fight scene in the bar with, is working on this show. Right. I don't know if they met him. I well, like... did they ever see the video? I don't <laughs> think they saw that video. Oh. Roll the clip, Cassandra. <laughs> It's like the Dutch, the restaurant. We were saying that this was the Dutch, the hotel. Um, anyway, uh, I'm super loud. Sorry, vlogging voice. Chris from that video that I just showed you guys, he was in Mad Max, the recent one, and he's the first bad guy to get killed, isn't he? Yeah, he well, he's one of the guys. He's the guy who jumps off with the two spears and blows up the in slow motion. He's in all the trailers. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh, she turned into a monster. <laughs> um, Anyway, so cool, and, and I wanted to tell you guys about this beautiful movie we saw about a week ago. No spoilers, but go see Inside Out. It's a cartoon, and it's for grown-ups and kids, and it has a really great message, and I just explained what the message was, and I was like, no, that's ruining the movie, so um, go watch it. I really highly recommend it, 
and when you see the message and understand the message, take it to heart and realize that that's something that I don't think a lot of people teach us nowadays. Um, maybe in a couple days or a couple weeks I'll talk about it again so maybe more people have seen it and then I won't feel as bad talking about it. But anyway, great movie. Go see it. It's like 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Awesome. Um, yeah, this is Irma's house. Sorry, Irma, I haven't asked if we could vlog in here. I was looking for her and I knew she wasn't in here. You're looking for Irma? Yeah, I was like, sorry, Irma. <laughs> I know. I'm going to edit you guys. And um, I'm going to, like I've said before, try to vlog a little bit more on this trip. If it feels right. Only if it feels right. Because I'm doing this whole trip is taking a break from everything that we've been doing. And I really feel like I've finally earned a trip. Like sometimes I don't feel that way. I don't know about you, Trevor, but I sometimes don't. Um, but we've done so much hard work for the last like month. And then before that, just working out and stuff and trying to concentrate on stunts. And it's like, you know what? Now's me time. And so this trip is going to be all about being happy, being kind, and having fun. So that's my focus. You guys want to come along with that? Hmm? Hmm? The driver's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Come along. <laughs> okay. Well, let's edit you. Hope you like that. Hey. Oh, it just started recording now. I was talking and it wasn't recording. That's the worst. I mean, just, thank you. I can actually see this part. The, whoa, wait. Go for it. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow and we'll go on more fun adventures. Okay?